In this video, I'm going to show you how you could get the dynamic refresh rate for the Surface Pro 8, as you can see here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could install the driver for the variable refresh rate for Surface Pro 8. I just picked this up and you can see, I'll show you the settings. You could see that I can choose two refresh rates, either 60 or 120. And it is the 24th of July. And I've updated all the available updates as you can see here. To start, go to your browser and look for Intel Driver and Support Assistant. So what you need to do is just follow the on-screen instruction and download now. Next, just run this. So as you can see, as soon as I've installed it, it says that there are three updates available. I'm just going to ignore that and click on that. You could see there are three updates available and this one is the particular you know, driver that we are interested in. Obviously, it gives you the warning, but because this is, you know, produced by Intel, which is for Microsoft, and this is a Surface Pro, Surface Pro product, I, I don't think there's, you know, much um, risk for it. And it says that if there is a new driver available, recommend us to install it. So what I'm going to do is do that and download. I don't have you know problems whatsoever for the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi so I'm just going to ignore that it detected my device which is the Surface Pro 8 as you can see there and what is it running you know what graphics next just install it I'm doing a screen recording here so because I'm installing the graphics display driver so there might be glitches so all the typical warnings etc scroll down and press agree and start installation it's taking quite long so I'm not sure whether the screen recording app it's affecting the installation so I might have to stop the screen recording and let it run and I'll show you guys what happened after the installation. So not long after I closed the screen recording app, it finished the installation as you can see. So I'm just going to click finish. So let's close it now. Wrong one. Let's go here.
See now you could see dynamic 60 hertz or 120 hertz is available. There you go then. Hope this is useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.